It's a vibe on Lava Lounge. 93.3. We have one half of Jenny D with us in the studio. Da, 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 da. Jenny, go. Da, da, da. I'm trying to get my applause in. Woo! Welcome to Hearts FM, Jenny O. You guys, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first, I'm looking at you, you're coming in so hard, so, you know, like a diva. <sighs> which kind of like the pictures that we saw outside. Yeah. But then in the house, you, let me tell you what they were calling you. Granny O and my dear. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you always have the, the hair bonnet on, you have your channel, me out, the caption. What was What's that? What's going on? What Why are you that? hiding all of this? Sorry, guys. What was yeah. this? This this Jenny O. The theme is Jenny O in her house is what Jen- that's that's how I felt in Big Brother's house. I felt it was my father's house. Do you understand? <laughs> so when I came in, I'm like, yeah, let me get comfortable because we're here today, 78. Let's go. Oh. And I'm also like my laid back vibe is yeah. sweatpants, graphic tees, and all of that, right. which I didn't get. I wasn't allowed to bring them into oh, the house because of branded. logos. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So I was now stuck with my my boo boo, yeah, and you guys, <laughs> I just like being comfortable. I don't care where I am. Let me feel because when I'm comfortable, I'm free. Whatever, whatever. Uh, who wants to be doing dress and all of this? Yeah. Like, and my Instagram pictures. You guys are not seeing those pictures. It was not taken in my house. I was exactly. outside when we were taken. So um, on Saturdays, you know, I dressed up like you guys yeah, saw yeah, that during, on, on Sundays. I've been shows. Yeah. Before. So I did. I did my thing when I felt I needed to. I do think my it's thing. just some a part of it just made you look like the mummy of the house. It did. It did. But it's okay. It's all right. I'm here to change the narrative now. You guys see me. I understand. I look good and whatnot. But you know, I, I showed all sides to Jenny O, and I just wanted to bring my authentic self to the show, and I showed it regardless of what people called me. Oh, you sure did. You did. You did. So speaking of showing all sides, why do you think you came out so early? I mean, you didn't get the chance to, you know, fully show all sides. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Honestly speaking, um, huh? Do you think you know the reason? (sighs) Okay. So to be honest, I feel like I just. I was branded like as soon as I came in already, like even my face, you'd be like, ah, oh, this girl likes trouble or something's going on. This like automatically I felt like I wasn't even given a chance. No matter what I did. Why do you think as, that happened? I'm an alpha woman. I have this aura, which is just like it, I'm, I'm outspoken. I'm going to speak my mind. I'm yeah. going to say everything. And obviously um, the African culture doesn't always accept people speaking up for themselves, especially as we're growing up, we've always been taught to, no, don't say that, be quiet. And yeah. Yeah. I was born and raised in America, which is like, you know, speak your truth, say your peace, say your mind. Whether they are old, young, whatever, whatever, you're going to speak your peace. So going into the house and being the outspoken one, it came off as, oh, I was aggressive, I was a bully. And it wasn't that. <laughs> and I hate the fact that people saw that side, but yeah. that was not what I was trying to portray at all. And that was not my intentions, actually. Let me just say it was not my intentions. Yeah. But coming out, that was even me like this partnering P, and it's not like I'm not blaming Melly or anything like that. It just sucks that you know we had our faith was in each other's hands. So yeah. you did you part of you think that Melly was also the reason, part of the reason why you out early? Um, because it could also be both ways. It could also be both ways. I yeah. could be the reason he's out. He could be the reason I'm out. But in terms of even being put up for, <laughs> for eviction, eviction yeah. um, Lisa, Lisa put us up as well as Marvin and Yaya, which I still don't know why. But when it came to Nelissa, Nelissa's um, point was that she was hurt by what Melly, Melly did. did. Yeah. Okay. And as much as we were the outspoken ones and why bully and were this, we never got, we didn't get put up for two weeks straight. So, I, I did think it was, it was a case of, you know, the viewers wanted something. Also, people in the house. So I think the people in the house definitely wanted you. Mm-hmm. But then a part of the viewers are like, you know. Sometimes when you're not up, it's like give us Jenny O, give yeah. us Jenny yeah. that, yeah. um, That's me being honest. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't. I mean, you you have a point. You were very, you know, vocal, but also you're out. Also, current certain narratives. You you're definitely very strong. Mm-hmm. Um, I think people definitely respect to that. But then even having some housemates come on the show, one of the housemates has said, you know, have you heard how she talks? She's very disrespectful. You, Big Brother had somehow referred to you as unruly. Uh, and of course, some people have called you a bully. But do you think you're you're any of that? Why do you think that people label you a bully, disrespectful, unruly? Why do you yeah. Think? So um, honestly, I'm not perfect. I think my yeah. tone of voice sometimes comes off in a way that like it's not really how I meant it to be. Like when I'm upset, and I'm still learning how. Like because I wear my heart on my sleeves. Do you understand? Yeah. Me? Every time I got in an argument, my voice was cracking. Like I was ready to cry because 
it wasn't like I just wanted to argue. It's like that thing really, 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 yeah, really I hurt saw that, me. I saw that. Hence why I was like, I came out. My friend was like, "Why were you almost crying when you get? What was that?" Mm. I was just like, "You know me. You know how I am. It, it's just emo. Like I'm, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Yeah. Hence why every time I got in an argument and happened to be with Miracle, like my voice would crack because genuinely speaking, when he first came in the house, I, I did give him that benefit of the doubt, and then I started to see the BS. But it just hurt. Like, why am I that person already? Jenny yeah. is the outspoken one. Jenny is the loud one. So it's like you're picking at me, so I can show this this thing and this narrative that you've painted me to be. Mm. So uh, at, at the end of the day, I'm a sweet girl. Yes. I'm really sweet. <laughs> you I'm sure sweet. are. I look sweet. I am sweet. <laughs> okay. Okay. So do you think you you know inserted yourself in an imaginary situation with Juicy? Because a lot of people uh, seem uh, to have. A lot of things to say about that. Even when, you know, Juicy and Yvonne, um, who's your friend actually, Mm -hmm. mm, picked each other. Yeah. So, So there's something like, why didn't you just let it go? I did let it go. That's the funny part. Like, my thing was, in the beginning, it was supposed to, because we saw Juicy was going back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. And me, I was like, guy, you're confused. Like, pick a side. Like, Mm. what what are you doing? And then I went to Yvonne. Yeah, and there was a Saturday night where Juicy came and was telling me all sorts of things about I went that part. Do you understand? And I told Yvonne, and I think it was a Friday where I told Yvonne, I was like, "Yo, do you understand? Like, do you want to play this game? Do you want to play this game?" Because they were doing some love thing in the pool. Yeah, and then Juicy tried to like, as I went in, Juicy tried to grab me. I was like, "Yo, don't touch me, please. Mm. Just stay home. Let me stay my own." And we spoke, and I told him how you know I didn't respect that because I didn't understand what he was doing. Moving on, I asked Yvonne again, do you, do you still want to play this game? Mm-hmm. And then I asked, like, do you guys like him? Yvonne said, yeah. I was like, yeah, I like him as a person, whatever, whatever. And when I kept seeing them, I was just like, let me remove myself from that situation. But then there was times where Juicy would still come up to me. To you. So, yeah, th- so here's, here's the thing with that situation. I, I do know that Juicy was a flirt in the beginning. Mm-hmm. But then um, I also feel like Juicy had mentioned the people that he was pretty much going for which was Ipeleng, Yvonne mm. and I think Blue. Blue, yeah. And when Yvonne, Yvonne was proving hard to get in the beginning. Yeah. So to be honest, I would take your side in saying that in the beginning Yvonne was acting like even if I'm writing on, you know, it's just games, mm-hmm. I get that. And he moved to you, he flirted you for one Saturday that we saw, mm-hmm. right? But I just feel like I you wouldn't have seen that. So there was a time the kissed and ever since then they were all like cozy. Yeah. Up. But mm-hmm. you just seem to not want to you still spoke about it even mm-hmm. this week with Melly. Like, yeah. And you made a statement saying if you were to, if you could, bre- you could actually break that relationship if you want. I feel no, like that, that wasn't that wasn't the relationship I was talking about. What? That wasn't the relationship. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. okay. So what <laughs> relationship were you talking about, you guys? No, no. Tell no, us. No. This is a safe space. This is a safe space. We are on radio, you guys. There's people <laughs> this, listening this to us. This is a safe space. space. What really? Just quickly. So, okay. so, so quickly. <laughs> speaking about that, it was just like. I felt like what I was telling Melly was like, if I wanted to like intrude in certain things, yeah, then I could. And I think we were talking about like, I literally was like, yo, Kanaga likes Tati a lot. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If there was a way where those both, because we can see Tati is now playing a game with Kanaga. <gasps> I'm pissed at that. Yeah, we yeah. can now see Tati is playing a game with Kanaga. But I was, I was like, yeah, Kanaga really likes Tati. But if it was a thing where both of them were playing games with each other, I would have just didn't. entered that one because. Quite honestly, like, that's my guy now. But that's, like, one of the guys where I was like, yeah, he's attractive. Do you understand? But when it came to Juicy and Yvonne, I think people are trying to paint this thing that I betrayed Yvonne. And should be told, Yvonne had a lot of knowledge about everything that happened, whether it showed or it didn't show. So but even after she got serious, she knew, you know. She, she, when she got serious, yeah, when they got serious, yeah. I think... After that whole kiss happened or whatever, I had like guilt in me where I kind of pulled myself from it. So it was almost like my conscience when they were together. I just removed my, yeah. I didn't want to be there because it was weird. Yeah. And even after that, there was a week, I think it was even this past week where Juicy still came up to me. I was just saying stuff. Why are you sucking to me? He's looking out trying to see if Yvonne is coming. And I was just laughing. I was like, guy, just move. You're not serious. So it was like. I wasn't chasing Juicy and mm. I didn't well, I you know kept it. talking about it. Yeah, I kept talking that about was it what because the problem was. for me, to be honest, for me, I kind of felt bad because at a point I did look like I was in a triangle and I looked very stupid. So that was where I kept talking about but it because I was ever, hurt. Did anything ever start? Nothing started. So why, just, why did you think because, you were in a triangle? Be, in that house this is exactly how it was painted that it was me, Juicy and Yvonne. Yeah. Because literally Juicy would go to Yvonne one day. And, and they come, come to, to Jenny the, the next, next day. day. At the first two weeks. 
okay, when did I leave? Fourth week, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, Third week is when they did their love thing, mm-hmm. and in the beginning of fourth week is when Juicy came up to my bed. Mm. And okay, moving they, on. Not sure that's the <laughs> no, moving you know on what, away you know what from that because this was like a big part. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. People kept talking about that and how Nana said he was trapped by Yvonne. He wanted to get out, and you said, "Well, that's his, that's his business." Because it's not my business. It's not mine. Okay. You see, I like the fact that. You- it's not my business. Nobody can. <laughs> anyway, you said on stage that uh, you know he wasn't worth it. Do you think you guys can be maybe be friends when mm, he comes up? No, we're definitely we're we're cool. Like mm. I don't have anything against that man at all. Right. I just felt he wasn't worth me losing my um, friendship with Yvonne because it could have been spent another way. If Yvonne was a, a different type of babe, she could have been like Jenny. What's your problem? Actually, like because of man. Do you understand? We literally yeah. could have started arguing because of a man. So. I just felt like there was no man. There's no man in this world worth losing my relationship with my girl, and that was the first person I spoke to in that house for real. So I cherished that friendship. So do you support the relationship? Hey, go crazy! Like <laughs> there was the good. Hey, you know what? Listen, if they're playing game. They're not playing game. I wish them all the best. You understand? <laughs> all right. Mm. Okay. So you had pretty intense com- um, um, confrontations with two people. How do you feel about Chrissy? <sighs> Jesus. Hey. Okay. Um. I don't hate Kosi. She's never done anything to me personally. And okay. I said that in the house as well. I said she's never done anything to me personally. I just don't gravitate towards her and I don't care so what, for her. What is it about her that just sort of... Her game was it? annoying me. I okay. think you guys are watching the game, but living in that thing is annoying. Living oh, in like, the, the back and forth. This person is squeezing face here. This person is squeezing face here. We're playing game. You, so what, just, what type of game do you think she's playing? Listen, she's playing that player girl. You, we think Yami is a bad boy. Uh, Kosi is, is playing the wow. game. Wow. <laughs> so, so someone else who I mean you were into confrontations like Okwe said yeah. but someone else who sort of we saw he deliberately came at you yeah miracle to you. oh you <laughs> yeah, didn't even let us was, was land. Miracle. Mm. first off was cooking your strategy and secondly how did how did you feel when he pulled the stunt of you know trying to get you out of the kitchen yeah so like I said I gave miracle the benefit of doubt when he came into the house um, then I just started noticing things I started noticing things hence. The first lash out that I had that people thought was with Melly was actually for Miracle. Yeah. Um. So I noticed it. I explained to Melly. Then, like, something just kept telling me, like, because he already had mentioned, like, Jenny, you have a strategy. And I was mm. like, I don't. And he was like, he looked at me like, yes, you do. So I'm like, okay, what can this boy actually think that my strategy, strategy is? is? I said, mm. oh, this cooking. cooking yeah. All right. So when he decided to take over the kitchen, he was, he didn't, it, it was like forceful. Mm. You're out of the kitchen for the week. Then told my partner, yeah, tell your partner that she's out of the kitchen for the week. Why? Do you understand? Yeah. So, uh, he was trying to play this 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 game of trying to get me out the kitchen, trying to paint it to be that I hated. Be like, she hates it. She does it when she cooks. He's upset because there's one time I made okra soup. He did not go around to him. So that was, <laughs> he was ready to beat me for that. But, but what, what, what would you say? He's, what's his game? Oh, his game is to really just poke people poke and people. turn the house um against, against certain people other. at a time so obviously i was the first victim yeah and then it looks like he's trying to turn it against yemi yeah and i you know shout out to yemi man I, I i'm truly hoping that 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 boy leaves before you man because ah uh, no he really <laughs> me and yemi were his victims like mm. he is painting yemi black and blue yeah to kosi and but I, don't have the game, have the player. Yeah. Uh, because he he said he was going to do that before he entered yeah. the house. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes it's overly done. Um, but I think it's really up to the housemates as well to know how to control themselves. Because yeah. you know everybody who's there, yeah. you know, to play a game. But you were part of, that was a big part of you. You mm-hmm. were part of the coven. Outside, we call it coven <laughs> with you. <laughs> and to be honest, you, Yvonne, Nana, a Olivia. lot, they kept, atta- Olivia, they kept yeah. attacking you the first few weeks. Yeah. There was all... I mean, it's part of, you know, staying your mind. But mm-hmm. sometimes you probably say something about the essay housemates or something. And they come at you. Yeah. But now it's, it's, it's like a boat way situation. But do you think that sort of helped your game or did any sort of damage to your game? Honestly speaking, I don't know what it did to my game. Um, because, yeah, that was spoken about. But there was other sides that people emphasized on. So I don't think that really affected, affected my game. game. Because then again, like nobody can sit around and say they don't gossip. We're human beings, you all. And we're living in a house where there's no social media. So yeah. everybody was my social media in that house. People serve as my TikTok, my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter. You all were my, they were my entertainment in that house because mm-hmm. I, I didn't have much entertainment. So 
we just came and gave people a recap of what happened for the day because some people are not watching Big Brother 24-7 so, so you're there for the team we're there we're <laughs> helping the people <laughs> we're giving you all insights of the day this is what happened today oh, you and sure it was did. jokes you and did there's nothing that we said in those groups that if they called us and said say it in front of anyone's face it would say it's repeat uh-huh. well at least I would mm. so I can't speak for everybody else okay so since coming out of the house what is that one thing that you heard that has really surprised you <laughs> hey I'm a bully and I'm bitter Oh um, wow! Yeah, bitter. I'm bitter. They 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 are saying everything is thriving in the house now that I'm gone. <gasps> I, I expected that. <laughs> <laughs> everything is thriving in the house from the sheepers. But do you think so? I think now that I'm gone, people can see everything that's actually happened. I think I was yes, I was the loud mouth, but now people's true colors are truly showing right now. Mm. Like there's people. So I'm did watching. you think you know you being in the house? Did you think people were a bit cautious? Like oh, let um Gino not see so she won't you know yeah because a loud I'd, mouth. I'd, I'd call it out. Oh. I'd call it out if I saw what Tati was doing to Kanaga. Who Kanaga is a guy. This love you're doing dead it mm, right away. Yeah. Do you understand? Because ooh yeah, the things I'm seeing right now, like ah, <laughs> if I was now. So. Tell me, tell, tell me. You, you, <laughs> so tell me some of the things you're you're seeing specifically that is sort of like oh my god. You know, if you were in that house, house yeah. yeah. Um. So if ah, the the way Kosi and Miracle are like, if I if I just happened to hear one of their conversation, conversations, yeah. Uh, I already know what I would have done. I would have to- spoke to everyone individually and told them their game. Yeah. Individually. Like, I wouldn't even allow it so people know what's going on. Then, obviously, the Tati and Kanaga thing, I'm just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, it, it, it hurts me just yeah. because I know how much he likes her. Yeah. And it sucks because it's like, and, and that's why I kept saying, this is not Love Island, you guys. This love we're doing. Yeah, this but is I, I even get that. But in the history of Big Brother, even when Toby and Cece were fighting, they never nominated each exact- other. Exactly. It's not even the second to the last week. It's not even the last. Nope. Week. Like in the history of Big Brother, shit. This is the, no. This is the first time I'm seeing, you know, people who are like in a ship. Yeah. Nominate each other because like, the thing nah, is not nah. genuine. It's not genuine, and I kept every time I said that, like they were like we're a family. I'm like you're not family, oh, because I just knew things like it's a game, you guys. But okay. it is what it is. So just before um, we ask you just a couple okay. questions, not like questions, just mm-hmm. you know, at some things to give answers to. What what's next after BB Titan? Yeah, so obviously you also me in the kitchen a lot. I didn't even notice how much I was in the kitchen until I saw my highlights, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, probably a cooking show, a restaurant, something. You no. Know? Okay. Get this cooking now so y'all can taste my food. Okay. And um, as well as I was, I always spoke about music in the house. I'm not sure if you all captured any of that or so. I mean, I knew that. you have this dance. This thing. is, <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> now, yeah. yeah. So I spoke about music a lot. I have, actually have a music, um, I review music. I have a podcast on that. Oh, nice. so I'm going to okay. keep going on with that. Um, and this is my mouth. Like, hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm. Sp- some I'm an on air personality. So, this mouth, uh, no, I mean, this mouth, no, this, I, this, I, I think that talking. would work for you, even though I th- you have a friend that works on radio mm-hmm. and you, you've given some shout outs to a couple of people yeah. in entertainment that mm-hmm. I've had. So, I think that you know, you, you're well, to, you know, they will teach you what to do, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, just questions we're just going to ask mm-hmm. you favorite person in the house, favorite person in the house, yeah. Oh, um, I'm just I'm gonna call two people that are my favorite, 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 favorite okay. people, um, uh, actually, three. Um, black boy Nana and Yvonne for sure. Most annoying. Ah, Miracle. Mm. Miracle. Okay. Miracle and Yaya. Yeah. Why Yaya? She talks a lot. Mm. I I love Yaya, but ah, good. There's there's certain things that she did that annoyed me. That well, it was only mm-hmm. one thing that she was doing that I was just like, babe, babe, let it go. Leave What's it that on. thing? Is the this this you people thought to me I wasn't letting go of Juicy. Hey, Yaya's <laughs> not letting go of Marvin at all. Uh, so you think she's desperate for man? I don't think she's desperate for a man. I just think that when she really likes someone, she loves them really hard, likes them really yeah. hard. And just she has a very nurturing side. So okay. So which what, one what? of the guys in the house is your type? None, none. None of them are my actual. I, do I even have an actual type? Uh, I think the person closest to what I would go for would probably be Kanaga. Kanaga. Yeah. But that, what that, was that, it about Kanaga? His height. His height. And the way Kanaga carried himself. You know, general Kanaga. Yeah. Type of authority. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. It's just, it's just it. Okay. <laughs> so if, if you were to make out, I didn't say to be with someone, mm-hmm. make out with someone in the house, who would it have been? I mean, it's not going to happen. Maybe, maybe not. But just if that was make ever to have happened. with someone in the house. Yeah. Aside 
<laughs> this is how already. you're slowly repeating the juicy. question for me. I, was, I already kissed the man, so just let's just carry it on. Um, no. Yeah, I don't no 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 none of them. I'm not no, Jenny. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If you had stayed to the last day. If I'm so sorry. Some alcohol I, in I, the system. That, I, I would have went to if you notice parties, I'm actually the one that's just looking at everybody. Nah nah. There was one night even though you guys were flirting, it, it would have happened. You know we oh, we, see, we see these things. <laughs> I think it was with Big Brother that said, put on your mic or something. Yeah. And then you kind of just messed up. I feel like something would have happened that night with you and Juicy. No, way. that night, no, 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 no. Because, ah, uh, no. Nothing is low key in that house. And me, I don't like things that are out in the public like that. Ah, mm. uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, make out, no. Nah, nah, Nobody. No one, no one. So outside of the house, who are you not going to be cool with? That like if this person comes out of the house, if I see this person at an event, I'm, you know, going the other way. <laughs> it's the same person I've been saying since Miracle can just stay Miracle. where he is yeah, yeah. I, I'm good off of that I know it's a game yeah. but there's certain things that you just don't do mm. and I would have appreciated if he just wasn't trying to do that um, I'm for you I'm here for you type thing like yeah. I'm your friend I would have, I'd rather would, like just play your game and not be in my face then I would have been fine with it actually okay mm -hmm. fair enough he came, he came for your game mm -hmm. and it's, it's fair enough yeah um, also who are you rooting for for the grand prize there's got to be uh, someone all my peoples I'm rooting for all my peoples listen I'm rooting for black boy I'm rooting for Yvonne I'm rooting for Yemi Tabang as well and I keep saying this and people are looking at me like Tabang Small but mighty, he's a genius. He's playing his game correctly, and mm. he's not only playing his game correctly in the house, but when it comes to tasks and wagers, he's very calculated and he studies everything. He's smart. I agree because mm. I can't even tell who he likes, but he's just yeah <laughs> tossing all of the twenty one. But he is ah uh, no no mm. twenty one. But that he's smart. He's smart. Age is really just nothing but a number when it comes to him for sure. All right. So this is where we have to wrap up. Thank you so much, Thank Jenny, you. for coming. Thank you. Uh, we amazing. wish you the very best um, with you. your restaurant, your cooking mm. ambition. Yeah. yeah. With entertainment, your podcast, you're you're really strong. Thank you know, you're vocal. So people are going to talk, but just take the one you're going to take, toss the one you're going to toss out. Mm -hmm. And there's a bright future, definitely a bright future for you. Thank you. All right. So last words for your fans, final words. I love you guys so much. Please, let's dead this my dear thing, you guys. I promise I will never wear that boobie again. In fact, I'll trash it. I promise you all, yeah? <laughs> let's dead the my dear for you. Like, this is not my dear anymore. This is Jenny O. Like, this is Jenny O that's right here. Nah, she's not my dear. Please, please, y'all. I love you guys so much. And thank you all for the support. All right. Your social media handles? It's the Jenny O on Instagram and Twitter. All right. Thank you so much thank for stopping you. by, Jenny O. Um, like she said, we wish you all the best. So vibe. On Lava Lounge. 93.3.